Welcome to my three day water fast result video. I'm gonna go through the weights I've lost, the inches I've lost, and share with you before and after pictures of this fast. So I've been fasting quite a bit lately because my body has been inflamed. Fasting is good for helping to reset our mitochondria because with this environment that we're living in, with all the toxicity, our mitochondria is getting damaged by the fructose, the excess sugar, the glucose spikes, and all of that. I was dealing with chronic fatigue very severely in December, and I was dealing with a lot of issues with my female cycle, been dealing with fibroid cysts. And ever since I started doing extended fasting again, this is my second extended water fast. Earlier on in the year, I did a 48 hour fast. And with this fast, it went 70 hours. Things are starting to normalize itself. So let's jump into the details of this fast. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Deanna Joy, and I've been on a very, very lengthy weight loss journey. My weight loss journey has been plagued with a lot of health issues, dealt with it through chronic pain. I've lost weight in a state that normally people won't usually lose weight in, you know? being injured and sick and all of that, but I knew I had to do something in this situation. I turned to food for comfort. I struggled with binge eating disorder and I probably most likely had sugar addiction due to the foods I was eating. And it's all been a trauma response. However, I refuse to let my trauma be the reason why I hold myself back in life. Instead, I use it as a tool to better myself. I, I turn dirt into gold. That's my mentality in life. Because if you do not have that mentality in life, how do you expect to level up? I want happiness. I'm going to create my happiness. I choose happiness in life and I choose to surround myself with happy people or people who just want to better themselves. And that's my attitude. So I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I got into a car accident nearly two years ago in 2022, and I'm still recovering from the injuries. And I started one meal a day fasting after the car accident, because again, when I'm in chronic pain, I binge. I had a neck injury or still have a neck injury, a shoulder injury. Oh, sorry, my thing just, I just did this. A shoulder injury, a whole bunch. I had a really severe concussion. It was really freaking bad. But through it all, I managed to make this transformation. So I am fasting to help deal with my inflammation. People don't understand. They look at me like, oh, she's healthy. No, I'm not healthy. I'm in, well, I'm healthy, but I'm in a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of chronic pain. And um, it's getting better since I've been fasting like a crazy person. Um, and fasting does help reduce inflammation and in so much. I feel like my C-reactive protein has come down. But anyway, let's get to the results. I'm just rambling way too much. So you want to know how much I lost for this fast? Now, mind you, I did kind of screw up the pictures. I have day two and day three of the fast. However, I'm comparing pictures that I had because I take weekly progress pictures. So they're pretty accurate of the three-day fast. Anyway, during this fast, I lost a total of nine pounds, nine pounds down during this fast, but the pounds don't really matter. What really matters are like the pictures and the results and the waist measurement because pounds won't always be accurate in terms of body fat loss. When you drop pounds, you could be dropping water. When you drop pounds, you could be dropping water. <laughs> Let's try to think of something else, but you know, or you could have went to the bathroom, that's water, or I'm not gonna go into details, but you can use your imagination. So pounds aren't always an accurate measurement of body fat. Do you know what is? Inches around your waist. So I lost 2.5 inches around my waist during this fast. And I knew it because my skinny waist trainer is fitting me again. I had to buy a larger one because all the crap I went through in the last three months with my health, just getting, you know, I've been going through a lot, okay? Not only that, um, whew, I'm in a very tough situation, but regardless of whatever is going on in my life, I refuse to let it get me down. It almost caught me a few times, but I am determined to just, just 
be better. And people don't understand what it takes to be a determined person in my situation. You know, people usually turn to drugs or turn to, you know, hooking up with people. I turn to the gym. I turn to bettering myself. I turn to meditation. I turn to self-help books. I turn to God. I turn to things that I know will make me feel better. I can do it the other way, but that's not going to help the situation. So mindset of leveling up here. That's how you do it. That's the mindset of greatness. Anyway, we're going to go through some before and after pictures. Oh, and the reason why I started this fast was to help kick myself into ketosis. And I have been on a keto streak. I'm actually doing a two mad today. It's my rest day. I had this meal earlier on in the morning, but like, pfft, I'm not even hungry. And it's almost six o'clock PM. So yeah, that was obviously I'm going to be eating because that's not enough calories. But I honestly believe when it comes to fasting, it is the best tool to help kick yourself in ketosis. It is the best tool to help strengthen that autophagy and to kind of reset your system after eating out of hand, after binging for a long time. Now, I digress. If you are struggling with binging and you go fast and you find that you break your fast and you can't control your binging, right now, fasting is not for you. I've been there. What you need to do in this moment is focus on dialing back your food portions. Po focus on calorie restriction. Once you get your binging under control or your overeating under control and you're not like, blowing it out, then jump into extended fast. Because what you're going to do is put yourself in a situation where you're fasting, you're just thinking of food, and then you're just going to binge after the fast. The fast doesn't count if you can't keep the weight off. And I can tell you about five days after the fast, I have kept the weight off. So that is when. Mind you, after my fast, my period started. So that kind of like, I didn't gain any weight, but I, I should have been dropping, but I knew I dropped because my waist is getting leaner. I'm looking leaner at the gym. I'm looking leaner with my workouts. Now I'm nowhere near, well, I'm not nowhere near, but here's a before or a comparison picture of me at my leanest. And this is where I am right now. And I, I'm, I thought I was far worse than what I was considering where my weight is at. I will reveal my weight in due time. But it is telling me that I put on a lot of muscle because my goal is to body recomp and put on a ton of muscle. So I cannot wait to get to that. Anyway, let's do before and after pictures as I just processed a bit. So here is my front picture, as you can see here. Um, it's really hard to tell. But one thing I have noticed with looking, with looking at all of these pictures is that my loose skin my skin tightens up. Like, let's go back to my before and after picture with where I was basically, um, what you might call it, my before and after picture, comparing my two pictures right now, this is where I'm at my leanest and where I'm not at my leanest. Well, which was like a picture taken recently. You see how my skin is a bit like sagging on the side there? that will tighten up. That's what I noticed. I will drop weight, the skin will sn snag. And then as I lose weight, it will tighten up. So I'm kind of blessed in that aspect. Now going back to the before and after pictures of the three I have here, day one, day two, and day three. Again, I notice my skin is kind of loosing up a bit, but, and then it kind of tightens up. I notice my legs are a bit smaller. I lost a bit in the boobage because I'm wearing the exact same bra in the two black bras, bras, they're the exact same. So I noticed that um, I did lose a little bit of a side. I can afford to lose it because I've got a lot going on up here. <laughs> can be annoying um, when I'm working out. Listen, when anything gets in the way of my working out, it's a problem. Listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be grateful for these because I always hated my chest because I was young. I grew up pretty quickly. I became a woman like, at, like what, 13. So I was always self-conscious about it but I'm learning to just like love my body. Like I literally like hide myself when I'm at the gym because <laughs> I'm just like so self-conscious of it. Or when I'm on a machine, it's like, whoop. Anyway, that's another story. So I can afford to lose a little bit on the, you know, the side boobage. Here is a side-by-side -side picture of day one versus day three. You can see a bit of the difference here. You can see that my loose skin is snagging up. Although I am wearing a different bra, I can tell I'm definitely leaner. The back picture here there's day one day two again you can see the loose skin coming up and day three so um i do notice some difference uh, my legs are definitely tighter that seems to be first and 
my glutes, yeah, my glutes look more shapely. So there's that. And day one versus day three, again, the skin is a bit sagging a bit, but again, I know I will tighten right back up. I know that. I have a feeling I might be able to get rid of my loose skin naturally. I just have a feeling my skin moves with me. Uh, like my legs, I noticed when I was working out at the gym the other day, I noticed a bit at the back of my legs. I was like, oh, great. But I'm like, I know it will tighten up. It always does. And with people talk about cellulite, like, oh, how do I get rid of cellulite? Build muscle. That's what happens. I'm having a bit of it in my legs because I did put on weight over the holidays, which I'm slowly shutting off. You guys will see that transformation. Well, here's a quick little catch up here. That's me in January versus me now. Um, so build muscle, like literally lift weights that will get rid of cellulite. It will do it. So that's my advice to you. So yeah, overall, here's a side picture. I think it was a good fast. I learned a lot with this fast. As you guys know, my blood sugar while fasting was in the fives, which was interesting because my first fast, it was in the threes. But guess what happened after I stopped fasting? My blood sugar is regulated. I jumped into a keto diet. My blood sugars were good. I got to the low threes. Unfortunately, my CGM fell off. I'm going to buy another one. And I do, depending on what's going on with my 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 fitness situation, because I don't know if I'm going to go with this personal trainer or that personal trainer. Depending on what I'm doing, I am going to jump into another fast just to help that mitochondria out just to help my body reset even though it's doing pretty well but i loved how i was feeling when i was fasting but yeah my glucose levels went down to the threes after i worked out and went to the sauna i had one glucose spike usually it happens post-workout so i would go to the gym work out sit in the sauna and then when i'm in the sauna my blood glucose level it literally dropped i didn't get a screenshot shot of it but it dropped to 2.9 i was like Whoa, then it bounced back up. You'll see that in a vlog very soon. I am editing that vlog right now. And guess what happened after that spike? I got hungry. So it is proof that it's those blood sugar spikes that make us hungry. Now that spike wasn't caused by food. It was literally caused by me depleting all my stores through exercise. But anyway, there you have it. Fasting is great for you. I highly recommend getting the element packs. I will link it down below from my Amazon storefront. So go check that out. Element packs really made my fast very convenient. I only used it for day one and day three. Day two, I didn't need it. And I think everyone should be fasting as a tool to help. Not everyone, but anyone who is like me, you know, um, who's trying to lose weight, who struggle with obesity, um, fasting can help you. Now, for someone who has been fit all their life, maybe they're a bodybuilder, a lot of bodybuilders are against fasting, maybe not for you, you don't have to fast, but I'm talking about people who are trying to reverse metabolic illness. Fasting is for you. Metabolic illness is obesity, type one, di type two diabetes, sorry, not type one, type two diabetes, you know, visceral fat around the waist, subcutaneous fat, high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, and all of that. Anyway, that is my little review. If you made it this far in the video, just drop in the word water. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.